focus I got from the Sons of Prometheus is encrypted, but with a little effort, I should be able to hack it. There. Got it. Engineer Team Smoke, your request for materials was received and approved. A shipment has been dispatched. We're short on couriers, so we'll leave it for you in the wilds. Don't delay on pickup, this stuff is valuable. Coordinates are embedded in this message. Use it well for the cause. So before I wiped them out, the Sons of Prometheus sent supplies to some of their operatives. Might be worth checking out. This room looks different. That hologram looks like a cauldron symbol. Guy is doing probably.
I wonder what they used all these machines for. Another Cyclops drone. Gotta grab its data to reconnect with the dome back at the base. Maybe I can climb something to jump onto the dome.
escaping this rain. Can we talk for a moment, Aloy? Uh, would you spare a moment for an old woman like this? You're a Nora, aren't you? Haven't seen one since I visited Hunter's Gathering. I didn't think the Utaru traveled that far east. I did it for my dyes. I like to see how different tribes use roots and plants to make new colors. It's amazing how the right hue can make armor express so much more than its mere function. I have some samples, if you're interested. Beautiful. It's nothing compared to the Dyers. They may not be the friendliest of tribes, but if you bring their Dyers plants or samples, they might show you their skills. I'll keep an eye out for them. Before, 
if you need some food, we've got plenty. Before you go, the chorus mentioned that it was you and Zo who healed the land gods. I don't think we can ever repay you. Seeing everyone getting a decent meal is good enough. May the land always bloom before you. Worry about running out. happened to her. It's been long enough that Fane and Kel have called off the search, but... But you want me to look into it. I'll talk to them the next time I'm in Plainsaw. I'm monitoring this area. I need to grab its data. Just scattered. The signal seems to be coming from behind those vines.
take this to a dyer later. Make use of this. Having a good day? Aloy, may we speak? Take it easy. May the wind carry. Done myself this time. Let's trade.
This will be in my stash when I need it. Aloy, the outpost is just over there. Are you ready? Actually, I've already cleared that outpost, but I didn't see any prisoner. Really? Perhaps she was moved somewhere else before you got there. This prisoner Nakala, she's the only lead I have. Well, maybe I can pick up her trail. Let's go take a look. Like a good die. Our scouts said they saw Nakala tied up at a wood post. Let's look around. There. That's the post. Well, no Nakala, obviously. But maybe the rebels moved her. I can look for tracks. There. Tracks leading away from the post. Where do There's they rope. go? Just enough to bind someone. Blood. From the Rebels or Nikala? Dead end. No. 
I think there's something under that wood. Take my hand, Nicola. Steady now. Where am I? Chaplain? Is that you? And with an outlander. Whoa. How'd you end up down there? Rebels had me strung up. They thought I'd give up intel about lowland squad movements by letting me bake in the sun. Managed to slip my bonds and make a run for it. They made me pay for that. Last thing I remember was a crack on the head and the taste of dirt. How'd you end up here? We're looking for Kavo. His squad was last spotted leaving this outpost. Yeah, he was here. It was his squad that attacked us on the road. My comrades got away, but I was taken. Kavo tied me to the post himself. If you're looking for him, Chaplain, I'm afraid you'll only find a dead end. His loyalties are clear. Do you know where his squad went? I overheard them mention Fall's Edge. Then we'll... we'll pick the search up from there. I'll go ahead and meet you at Fall's Edge, southwest of here. Decca, if Cavo attacked her squad... No! He's not lost to us yet! We have to find him and turn him from this path. <sighs> okay. I'll see you there. What about you? That wound needs to be looked at. It'll scar. I just need to rest a bit, then I'll report into the grove. I'm telling you, Bloodhair. The chaplain might not want to hear it, but her grandson is a traitor. I guess we'll see about that. Falls Edge. Decca should be waiting for me in there. Telling the truth. Listen to him, Aroke. Decca, what's going on? Aloy, I'm glad you're here. This is Aroke, leader of Fall's Edge. So you've enlisted the chief's champion in your dull bladed efforts. You must be Cavo then. My grandson. And a soldier trying to right his mistakes. Or trying to lure us into a trap. My scouts caught him, sneaking around on the outskirts of the village. I wasn't sneaking around. I was coming to warn you. The rebels are planning an attack. They're going to send a machine straight through this village. I left my post when I realized what they were planning. You have to believe me. Where are the rebels now? They were hunting for the machine north of here. I, I can show you the way. The only thing you'll do is face trial by combat. You betrayed your clan. Your chief. Blood and blades will decide your fate. I'll fight whoever you want, after we stop the attack. Why destroy this village? Regala's defeated. The rebellion is over. Not for some. Losing Regala only gave them one more reason to hate Hikaro. And Hikaro was a lowlander before he was chief. Unlike the desert and sky clans, we've always stood behind him, without question. Fall's Edge is a strategic midpoint between the Grove and our capital on the coast. It's true. The others hope that by weakening the Lowland Clan, they'll be able to strike back at Hikaro. You said you defected after you found out about the attack. Why'd you change your mind? When I joined the Rebels... I thought Regala was going to lead us into battle against our old enemy, the Karja. But all we've done is kill each other. And for what? Pride? Vengeance? 
So when my squad leader told us about the mission to destroy this village, I left my post. Don't believe his lies. Anyone who deserted the tribe to join Regala knew exactly what they were getting themselves into. Not everyone. If Kavo is telling the truth, this whole village is in danger. We have to find and stop these rebels. The rebels built a campfire north of the river, near the cliffs. I can show you the way from there. Okay. Open it up or okay? No. I won't give him the chance to escape. The traitor stays here until his trial by combat. Then I invoke blood for blood. I will take Kavo's place until he returns. You're making a mistake, Chaplain. The clan needs your guidance, not the lies of this bare-armed boy. The right has been called. Kavo will go with Aloy. Then I'm going to. If the boy speaks truth, you'll need my blade. If he lies, I'll run him through. I must make arrangements here first. Then I'll bring the boy to the meeting place. Fine. I'll see you there. The campfire that Cavo mentioned should be nearby. What's taking so long? They should be here already. Someone's waiting ahead. Rebels. Friends of Cavo's? We're going to have to take them out to get to that campfire. waiting to ambush whoever showed up? Kavo has some explaining to do. Better wait at the campfire for him and Oroke. <laughs> Found a few of your friends when I got here, Cavo. You're not off to a great start. They must have been out on patrol. I swear on the ten, I didn't know they'd be here. What did I tell you? His lies are an open sore. Better we cauterize it now than let it fester. No! I'm telling the truth! Untie him. As you say. But this is a mistake. And my weapon? If you think... Just give it to him, Aroke. Okay? We need to get moving. Lead the way. This way. Where are you leading us? The rebels are stationed at the nearby cliff falls. I took this path when I left my post. The others won't be expecting anyone to come this way. Or they are, and will be skewered the moment we arrive. There's the cliff falls. And there's no one there, as I suspected. 
Let's just keep going. I don't like this. everyone no rebels no machine what did i say? over there by the falls but of the death if that thing runs too far let's go quick and we stop them right here on your lead aloy nothing will stand in our way now grab your gear we march on falls edge We did it. Cavo, you're bleeding. I'll be fine. What matters is the attack was stopped. Because of your warning. You saved many lives today. Come on. Let's get you back to Falls Edge. Uh, I guess... I cracked some ribs, too. Go on ahead. I'll see him back to the village. Okay. I'll let Decca know what happened. Aloy, I saw your deeds at the Grove. Three leave, only you return? What happened? Cavo was telling the truth. The rebels had a behemoth. Cavo was injured in the battle, but we stopped the attack. 
Aroke. Regrets that he doubted the boy. Your grandson proved himself to be honest and brave, Chaplain. He's loyal to the Lowland. So you'll release him? Well, he's earned his freedom. But it'll take many more deeds to earn back the rest of the clan's trust. I'll do whatever it takes. Thank you, Aloy. Indeed. Ball's Edge owes you a great debt. May this begin to repay it. Thank you. As soon as you're healed, I have so much to show you. Welcome back, Cavo. Not her. Can't be. Have I got news for you, Red? I'm still getting a signal from my focus. to the town of Horgut mentioned. We need to find his missing expedition and clear a path back east. The tunnel's blocked and no sign of the missing expedition. I need to find a way to get further in. Is there a little blow of hope fire doing? Someone's still alive in here. So you're real. Thought I was dreaming. What happened to you? A terror in the dark. The world shuddered. A machine? Never got a look. The caravan. <clears throat> we all ran. Everything collapsed. Crawled here. Escape. Did anyone make it out? And find the first caravan? Yes. Someone did. Good. At least I'm not alone. Rest easy now. Sounds like something big attacked the missing expedition. I better press on.
sound of that. Rumors. No more of Porgus missing expedition. Calvin, back up! They were attacked by some kind of terror. I don't think it was these burrowers. out ahead. A rock breaker. It must have attacked the officer as they were passing through. Sarah must have entered the canyon on the eastern side. I better take a look. These carts must be the supplies the second crew is supposed to be in the Porgif's lockbox. I should take it back to him. <laughs> that wall looks like it came down when the rock breaker attacked. I must have trapped the house room in the canyon. The rest must have run into the western tunnel. I'm gonna get to the other side. I should be opening those blaze barrels with fire ammo. Should do the trick.
clear now. I better let Porgif know. Let's see. So, if we add all the days lost to being stuck in camp nowhere, and throw in some hazard pay, because no doubt the crew will demand it, but reduce the number of the crew by half. Oh, and I hear the Tanakh are fighting each other quite a bit these days. Huh. Might just break some you. of them contain machines. The up and Those you've got the to be real careful of. It. We've seen a whole bunch of them setting up outposts around here. A few settled at the edge of the desert in the southwest. It's you. An honor. Will it be a trade? You're back? How's that tunnel looking? I found the rest of your crew. One of them was still alive. For a while, anyway. Turns out a rockbreaker attacked them as they were making their way through. Poor Saz. Many roads lead to Adelva's end, but that's got to be one of the worst. Well, I took care of the rockbreaker. The way is clear now. Ha <laughs> ha! I knew you could do it. And, uh, you didn't happen to find my lockbox now, did you? Here you go. Spark in the dark. Is there nothing you can't do? Here. Your fee as promised. Now that the threat's gone, I'll have the tunnel shored up and cleared out. Then I can send for another crew, get this expedition going proper like. Ha! Onwards to the delve! Almost done. I was annoyingly impatient at your age, too. Everything okay? What are you doing out here? Ask my grandmother. I risked leaving guard duty to look for her. She stopped to see the bloom, and now she won't leave. Since when does she care about flowers? They're not just flowers, child. They're scarlet stems with the scent that soothes the nerves. Or so I was told many years ago by an Utaru seed tracker. An Utaru? Now you're telling stories. If one trespassed here back then, you'd have killed him on sight. I couldn't. Found him picking flowers. Right near here, in Tanakh territory. I was all set to strike him down, but he was singing. <laughs> singing? Can't remember the tune now. Just the lilt of his voice. And his name. Nilo. He decided to stay for a day or two. I took guard duty here so I could keep coming back to him. And he kept delaying his return to plain song. For the flowers, he said. Please don't tell me I'm descended from a Utaro gardener. Almost. Almost. But the thrill of battle called to me, and he had to return to his people. I've always wondered about the life I missed with him. Whether he misses it too. Would he welcome me in plain song? Or at least accept a scarlet stem. It's a long way to plain song, but I get back there now and then. I could pick some scarlet stems and bring them to Nilo, if I can find him. Please. He was an herbalist there. I know the time has long since passed, but I'd like to know. Well, I'd like him to know. Ugh, you know what I mean. I think I do. Encouraging an old woman? Why would you do that? Why wouldn't I?
I should look for the herbalist. Might still be Nilo. I could give him the scarlet stumps. Can we talk for a moment, Aloy? Outlander, what can I do for you? You're the herbalist here, right? Are you Nilo? No, Nilo was before my time. I think he went up north a while back to river him. Why? Do you need a special solve? No, but someone else does, in a way. Thanks. I'll try river him. There's a grove there, a, a memorial, a beautiful greenery. If he's there, I... I bet he'll be tending it. Thanks again. Glad I could help. Have a look at my stock. I hope you find what you're looking for in River Him. Okay, River Him. I should look for Nilo. Give him the Scarlet Stems. The herbalist in Plain Song said he might be near the Memorial Grove. Did she say Nilo? Uh, hi there. Nora, here. You're a long way from home. I suppose I am. I'm looking for an herbalist named Nilo. I think I heard you say his name. You've come to the right place. His seeds were buried here, where he tended the blooms of others. Including my mother's. I'm his daughter, Gia. How long has he been gone? Some five years now. He put a lot of love into this grove. Almost as much as he gave me. That's why I could never abandon River him. I'd like to leave some flowers, if I may. From an old friend of his. Scarlet stems. They're rare in these parts, but they were his favorite. I never knew why. He planted them whenever he could, but never picked them. Prefer to just watch them bloom. Sounds about right. So he was a good man who led a full life? He was. And he did. I don't know who this old friend is, but if my father liked them, they must be a good soul.
Look, the Outlander's back. I can still see well enough, girl. Is my long vigil over? You have word from my grandmother's gardener? Yes and no. I laid the scarlet stems at his grave. His favorite flower, according to his daughter. Always loved to watch them bloom. He's gone. But he did think of me over the years. That'll have to be enough. Really? That's it? Are you sure you got the right guard? Herbalist? Huh. Seemed like you thought it was a fool's errand. Well, it's just that it meant something to you. It could have been a whole other life. Could have been. But this life hasn't turned out so bad. Even have a granddaughter who cares enough to come looking for me out in the wilds. And I've still got scarlet stems to remind me of Nilo. Sounds like your grandmother's got it all figured out. Maybe she does. Just... Tell me the next time you want to come out here, okay? Instead of disappearing? Maybe I will. Here, Outlander. Take this. For helping an old woman to remember she was once young. Over here, friend. Hey, Lloyd. I hear you've been making quite the impression on the clan lands. Saving the desert clan from itself, forcing the commander Takote out of hiding, defending the grove from Regala, and ending her rebellion on the wings of the Ten. I didn't do it alone. The humble words of a true warrior. Is something wrong? No. Yes. There's a song I want to play, one of my own making, but it's hopeless. I'm just never going to get the sound right. What makes you say that? Back in the clan lands, the Sky Clan built instruments that cast sound to sky and across the mountains. They use long leg throats to make them bellow with the sound of metal. It's how they communicate between villages. Combining that sound with the Utarus would create a melody unlike anyone's ever heard before. But I won't be hunting for any long legs anytime soon. For now, you should try to metal weaver again. They might have some new piece you can use. Right. This song means a lot to him, doesn't it? It does, which is why I'm getting him that machine part. It'll be a surprise. The Utaru say that's the best way to receive a gift. Is there a long leg around here? As it happens, one has been troubling some villages southwest of here. You be doing me and playing song a favor by getting rid of it. Interested? Maybe. I didn't think the Tanakh cared much about gifts. When I first moved here, I remember some days were more difficult than others. But I came to embrace the life I found here, and I, I don't see why I can't help Corey do the same. He's lucky to have you.
Tell me more about this long leg. It's a particularly nasty one. Looks different, too. Tainted like the lands around here used to be. It protects a group of machines that overran a small outpost southwest of Plainsong. Its call is easy enough to track, but if it spots us, it'll call reinforcements faster than you can draw your bow. Take it out with the rest of those machines, though. Plainsong has one less problem to deal with, and Koray gets to play his melody. Victory for all. If I make my way down there, I'd like to help. I appreciate that. I'll head southwest and see if I can pick up a trail. 